It's official. Times Square will welcome back hundreds of thousands of people this year to ring in the new year. The tradition was scaled back significantly last year due to the pandemic, but Mayor de Blasio and organizers say it will be full strength again next month. CBS News' John Diaz is live from Times Square with more of this new. John. Chris and Mary, excitement is definitely starting to build here in Times Square. Many New Yorkers and tourists we've been speaking with saying that yet again, this is another side of New York City bouncing back strong. However, though, they are hoping that all these festivities are celebrated safely. It's just an amazing Somebody. night. Tourist Jolie Mizine last rang in the new year in Times Square back in 2015. And while currently visiting New York, the London resident is now thinking about returning back to the Big Apple to celebrate again. I've done um, San Francisco, I've done Australia, I've done London, and this has to be the best one. Today, Mayor Bill de Blasio made the official announcement Times Square is welcoming back people in person this year to watch the iconic ball drop. A big, strong, full strength celebration. It's coming back this New Year's Eve, Times Square. Everyone, come on down. We're celebrating. Last year, only a few first responders and select essential workers were allowed to attend from socially distant pens. This year, the public will be allowed to gather, but everyone five or older needs to be fully vaccinated, show proof of it, and have an ID. Or if they aren't eligible for the vaccine for medical or religious reasons, they have to show proof of a negative PCR COVID test within 72 hours and wear a mask. You're talking about a lot of people really close for long periods of time. It may Makes sense to protect everyone. So full vaccination is required. The rationale for um, being fully vaccinated in that setting is to markedly reduce the risk of transmission, which um, we know can occur outdoors, even though the risk is is lower. But with the pandemic still not over, some are anxiously questioning: Is this the right way to ring in the new year? It can be difficult at times to make sure that everybody's got the vaccination. If they're going to do like a typical New Year's where people are packed in there. I don't see how that's not going to be a super spreader. The president of the Times Square Alliance attributing the return of the celebration and popularity of Times Square to vaccines. Our pedestrian count is up more than 50 percent. And Police Commissioner German Shea is confident the NYPD will be ready to protect and serve as the ball drops. Right now, there are no credible threats. A lot of uh, police officers and detectives out there, you all have counterterrorism overlays. Now, no tickets will be needed for this celebration, and Mayor Bill de Blasio still has yet to say how exactly they will be monitoring the vaccine status of all these uh, people that will be coming down, though that is expected, that plan is expected in the coming days, and so is the full lineup. Yes, there will be plenty of performances as well, so all those details expected in the coming days. Lots to look forward to. We're live this afternoon from Times Square. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. John, thank you.